better. I know we are talking about the three letter words starting with an S. Okay, I'll just say it's spy. <laughs> um, I forgot to tell you, it's talking about three. To me, it's, well, there's three ways of getting information. And, you know, as you, as you well know, being an information services person, as a librarian, I know, <laughs> uh, you know, the, the, the information is power. That's the whole thing. Now, think about it. There's the information, like, say, a messenger will give. But as you know, remember, the, so they shoot the messenger. My favorite messenger thing was, uh, uh, not favorite, but I mean, in this uh, book, this novel by uh, the great uh, author Ralph Ellison, the great American author Ralph Ellison, Invisible Man. One of the things somebody gives this guy a letter to take to somebody as a message. And basically, letter says, you know, off this guy. Well, I say off it, but you know, do something bad to this guy, you know. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the messenger didn't read the message. <laughs> Catastrophe. Sorry. Well, what a busy office. No problem. <laughs> yes, yeah, Now here's the thing about that. That's that whole thing about don't shoot the messenger. But the problem is, if you're a messenger, you can't be reading the message. If you did it with something bad, then you you might alter the message. And blah, blah, blah. but you know, some misguided people they take it out on the guy that's just giving you the thing. Okay. Now see, so a safer thing would be, now, I'm, I'm, let, me, let me go to Europe, back in the days of the, the royal court and all that sort of stuff. Now a safe kind of messenger, if I was going to be a messenger, not a messenger, but I was a, a spy back then, would be the court jester, the fool. Because the fool's function was to find out what's going on and then say in a, in a humorous or stupid way what's going on you know, to the king. So everybody else is being on river bridge to the king. The king is fool can jump up and down and do whatever he want. But the king was getting some real information. And the king would never beat up on the fool because the fool was giving real information while these other people were perpetrating frauds. You know, you know what I'm saying? So it was good to be a fool back then. Mm -hmm. Now, no, don't get me wrong, you know, fools had their, their problems too, but, but you know, at least they could beat up. So, you know what you can equate the modern day fool with? Uh, again, let's go to the Northern Hemisphere in the United States. The fool would be like the CIA. You know, spying on people in the in, within the realm, within the realm. You know. Mm -hmm. Then you have the other kind of spy, which is you know the spy that goes outside of the realm and get information and stuff like that. That's the spy. You know, that would be like you know like a, uh, like 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 you like well again states with the CIA again, but the Dulles boys, what they started, you know, with the international intrigue and you know and and and, and actually they're worse because they come back. And they alter the information, they give it to whoever is supposed to make decisions and give them, you know, altered information. There's a kernel kind of truth in there, but altered information to suit their own nefarious purposes. I'm talking about the purposes of that, of that spy. I wasn't clear the last time, but see, I'm a different kind of spy. I'm not a messenger, you know. You know, we're speaking uh, for somebody else, nobody like, like that. You know, like Malcolm X was a messenger. He was a messenger. He was he was delivering the the, the message. Well, he's a spokesperson for Elijah Muhammad. Elijah Muhammad said he was the messenger. But that's this all. Let's leave that alone. So I'm not the messenger, and I'm certainly not like the fool. You know, like a, a internal kind of spy. And I'm certainly not like one of them Dulles boys. You know, you know, Wild Bill, whoever that guy was. You know, that started the CIA. I mean, I'm not like that because that's an international thing. Like I said, I'm a lineage spy. I take in a whole bunch of stuff, you see, from all kinds of, you know, things that, that make up my lineage. And like I told you before, my lineage comes from, you know, Europe, and from the slave thing, of American Indian, from Africa, so I, I can move around and, you know, and adjust, <laughs> try to save my own life. But let me give you three instances of what I'm talking about, perhaps, perhaps to speak, be a lot clearer. Let's say, for instance, uh, there's this playwright, um, at least it was long past now, mainly he was active in the 50s, the 60s, is Arthur Miller. You know him for like Death of a Salesman, but he wrote this thing called The Crucible. He wrote The Crucible because this was about the 50s, the whole MacArthur, witch hunt, and when all them Dulles boys and people were around and you know, all, that, you know, all that stuff like that. And you know, MacArthur was a heroin addict, by the way. Well, I don't get into all that. But anyway, 
he was really upset. But rather than talk about what was happening right then in his time period, he went back and talked about the Salem witch hunts and made the analogy, you know, made the, like, the parallels. So if you read the play, you know, you say, oh, this is, pertains to today, but it was like, you know, 200 years ago, whenever it was. And see, this is interesting because that's the kind of spy, a cultural spy, that's really good because it's giving you information, saying that things haven't changed, they're the same. Different actors, same play, basically, you see? So that's one kind of spy. Then you have the thing happening, let's say fancy us on. Let's, let's go to World War II. Again, let's stay in the United States, let me think, because I know the United States a little bit more. Now everybody thinks like when they, when, when they, when, um, they put, bombed Pearl Harbor and they took the Japanese and put them in internment camps in, in California, mainly because they had a stronghold there, because you know, they, they built the railroads and you know, they, they, all that stuff. And then they settled San Francisco area and down there. So they had a lot of land and, and houses and stuff like that. So when they put these folks in internment camps, now the story you get, oh, they're Japanese, they might be a threat to whatever. That's not the story. That's not the story a spy understands. That was a land grab. They were grabbing them Japanese people's land holdings and redistributing amongst themselves, you see? See, so the, now, now, now remember, yeah, you have the 50s where, you know, you have something happening with the, with the Dulles boys and MacArthur and they're doing some finagling thing. Now you have this thing, let's go to the 60s. Check out how a spy does information, a lineage spy that just does information. Now everybody thinks the, the, the civil rights movement talking about the South, you know, Southern Christian Leadership Conference, you know, it was a grand success and, and blah, blah, blah. And, and they would say, you know, they call it leadership or it's because the young people, st st you know, stepped up and whatever. They could give you a lot of things. But one of the untold things was that when these folks were being put in jail, now these are poor folks. How did they get out of jail? It wasn't just the people from the North giving money. These were the, the southern black folks with their own farms and lands would put up the bail against their farms and lands. Sure. Now that's a, nobody knows that. Now after the all of after the civil rights was won and all the rest of that stuff, then what happened? They started going after those people and taking all those people that, as a class, taking the land back from these farmers. To this day is a disgrace. Even the black president can't do nothing about that or won't do nothing about that. You see, so what I'm trying to say is that when you have things happening, you need a spy. Not just spy and else, you need a spy to get the real information and take the information and give it to somebody who can do something with it. Well, you know how it goes. Anyway, so I just wanted to throw that out there because I don't want nobody trying to hunt me down, you know, like I'm a fool, you know, or uh, all those other things. You see, I'm a lineage spy. You can't mess with no lineage spy. Because the lineage spy know a whole lot more than you think the lineage spy knows. Well, that's just my look. That's just one of those dispatches from the arch director murders. That that would be me, T, from the Patterson Treatment Train to Tibet, letting you know what I definitely suspect. Mm -hmm.